Father Rosalito, Father Billy, Father Gerald. The whole universe is holier today because of you. If the universe becomes holier because of you, the universe can also become dirtier and less holy if you are unfaithful and you forget. Yesterday, St. Pius X reminded us, a priest who is not holy is not only useless, he is also harmful. Please promise me, you will never harm the church. And please promise us that you will always be helpful by your life of holiness. It is only holiness that we ask of you. And it is only holiness that can make this world, this universe, a better place. So make this universe a better place by your life of holiness. Don't harm us. Help us. Bring us closer to Jesus. O Panginoon, maraming salamat sa lahat ng biyayang natanggap namin ngayong araw. Maraming salamat sapagkat sa aming mga kapintasan, sa aming mga kahinaan, sa aming mga pagkukulang, sa aming mga pagkakamali at kasalanan, kami pa rin ay iyong tinawag bilang iyong mga pare sa iyong sinisintang simbahan. If people who do not know you meet you as a priest and they ask you, where did you study? Most likely you will say, at Mary Help of Christian Seminary. Indeed, from the human point of view, you studied in the seminary. But I will ask you again, and please give it a deeper thought. Where did you really study? And then you will understand that I am not asking you about the seminary. I am asking about something greater and bigger and deeper and higher than the seminary. Because you studied, you were formed, not just by the seminary. You were formed by the poor people you met, thirsting for the Lord, whom you attempted to satisfy in their thirsting for God. You were also formed by the prisoners you visited. You were also formed by those who died during the pandemic. You were formed by your professors, certainly. But you were also formed by the cook, by the teacher, by the janitor, by the gardener. In fact, you were formed by so many people, by your parents, by your brothers and sisters, by the friends, by everybody you have met. You have been formed by all of them. The Africans say it takes a village to raise a child. It is the same with priests. It takes a whole church to raise a priest. Today, you carry in your heart not only thanksgiving for Mary Help of Christian Seminary, but for all those who have taught you many important lessons in life. Lessons that cannot be learned in the classroom. Lessons that are evasive in the chapel. Lessons in life that the poor and the children and the imprisoned and the sick 
only them can teach you. Yes, you studied at the Mary Help of Christian Seminary. And maybe you can be called Mary Helpers, alumni of our seminary. But as you studied in the seminary, you also know that we studied you. We studied you not to assess and evaluate only. We studied you because you also taught us. You taught your professors. You taught us your bishops. You taught us. You also became our teachers. You are here because of the generosity, the courage, the lessons you learned from all the people. In a, you grew up in the seminary in an age of the internet. You grew up in the seminary hearing those words LGBTQ. You grew up in the seminary with an evolving understanding of what family is, what marriage is, what human life is. You were also formed by these changing opinions, teachings that you catch in the cyberspace. In other words, you were formed by somebody bigger than the seminary. You are a child of the universe. You are a child of the church. And to the universe and to the church, you must be grateful because God has used the entire universe to bring you where you are right now. Next year, if you're asked, when were you ordained? And you will say, on the 22nd of August, 2023. I will ask you again, when did the Lord ordain you? You know from philosophy that the Lord is timeless, that this calendar is a human invention. If you really understand that God is everlasting and there is no yesterday and today and tomorrow for God, then you understand that there is really no date for your ordination because you were ordained by God even before the clock started to tick. When were you ordained? You were ordained from eternity and you were ordained for timelessness. That is the beauty of your ordination. That is how great and noble the priesthood is. And the third question I ask you, if you are asked, Billy, with whom were you ordained? And then you will say, with Gerald and with Jomar. But I will ask you again, with whom were you ordained? And now give it a second, third, fourth, fifth look. And then you will understand that what I am asking you is who were ordained with you, who were chosen with you, who were consecrated with you. And the answer is everybody you will touch, everybody who will listen to you, everybody you will bless is now ordained with you. Your brothers, your sisters, they will say, I was also changed by the ordination of my brother. That is how great ordination is. You will never completely understand how much God loves you. Because if you would understand, you would die. It is a great mystery. And the only way to approach this mystery is by faith, by love, and with eternal hope. We look forward to many fruitful years of priestly ministry. We will grow all together serving the Lord. And when the time comes for us to finish our work here on earth, may the same Lord who said to you, Come follow me. Be the same voice you will hear. Welcome, good and faithful servant. Enter unto eternity. 
Amen.